Matt Britton is with me. I want to start first with you, Matt. Matt Britton is with me. Let's ask Matt Britton. Matt Britton. Matt Britton. You are the guy who's convincing brands where to spend their money. I mean, how does it stack up to you? The expectations of investors of these social media stocks are really high. Because of Uber, less people are buying cars. If you cannot reach a consumer on this device, you're going to largely be invisible to them. Humor and celebrity sort of is the proven formula. The NFL controls the future of American media. I ask people, what have they created? What have they actually built? The television landscape has dramatically changed. People are watching um, Apple TV and Netflix. The biggest change now is based on the form factor of the phone. There's no top or right hand rail. There's nowhere to throw an ad. So instead, brands need to figure out how to earn a right into the stream or the newsfeed. So there's really not a one size fits all approach for brands. It's really highly dependent upon who the advertiser is, who their users are. Basically things that don't rely upon you being told what to do when you walk into work every day. These companies still need to sell products. Twitter's problem really came from when Instagram really hit mainstream pop culture. What are the most valuable apps or valuable products? But if a company like Google with much deeper pockets or Apple should come in and buy the rights to stream the NFL, I think that's going to be sort of the straw that breaks the camel's back in terms wow. of cord cutting um, in the United States. But I think two things are going to happen in the next three years. It's going to break TV as we know it. <laughs> Everybody has an iPhone and they're using Siri to actually ask questions, then Apple can determine what powers that search. Long-term Twitter's big opportunity is the shift of TV. You know, the Oculus Rift acquisition scene.